Welcome to Farm Africa. Okay guys, this happened to be our very first batch of 1,071 chicks. For those of you who have been following us on this channel, Farmer Freak, this was our very first batch. We brought in this batch of 1,071 chicks here at Farmer Freak on the sixth day of February, on the sixth day of January, sorry. We brought in this batch. And as you can see, we have in here about 182 birds left because today is their day 50 exactly day 50 because if you take the 6th to the 20 feet today it will give you 50 days in total and that is one thing that makes uh brela poetry farming a very lucrative one if you know how to go about it the right way to imply the the right measures and uh all the tips I have been sharing with you on this channel, then you should start having your market between day 45 upward, okay? So, uh, a tip here on marketing, a quick tip on marketing. Normally, every farmer will want to keep his or her bird for 45 days before start selling, okay? But I always, talk, I always tell you people that marketing, when it comes to brailler farming, marketing is one aspect that I really scare a lot of people out of this business because you might grow bad and uh, they get to a stage for you to market then you end up not having the market so what is the tip in that you have to find your market before even growing your beds okay another thing I used to tell uh, my followers is that grow a number you know that the marketing is not going to be a problem for you okay another thing is start your marketing even before your birds are matured okay now you like you already know this is john i just left bangkok thailand as a classroom teacher for about 12 years teaching english in bangkok thailand i left all of those things to come back in central africa cameroon to start my own business my own poetry farm to be my own boss and to create job opportunities for others so this was our first batch of 1071 chicks which we lost about uh, 26 birds and uh, the total was about a 1050 plus something like that 1040 40 something plus or something like that now we got to a stage where we started our marketing at the initial stages of our two weeks old, when these birds were already in the farm, I had to employ a marketer uh, who went in, in the market in this city, Limbe, to create contact, to create connections, okay? Now, uh, if you are growing a huge number of birds, uh, the very first people, the very first customer you want to look at is the buy and sell arms, okay? Like we call it in English or in Pigeon English, buy and sell arms. Those are the middle people, okay? The agent between the farmers and the final consumers, okay? So within the first two weeks of we having those beds in the farm, I had to send a marketer in the field, in the market to create those connections for us. So uh, she went there, uh, within a week or within two weeks, you already have a contact list of about 35 to 40 to 40 buyers to 40 retailers, I would call them. Now, that alone gives us an edge that, well, these things, we are sure that when we grow them, this bird, when we grow them, we are going to have people to come and carry them, okay? Now, we started selling this bird when they were a 45 41 day old okay now 41 day old we already announced for buyers to start coming be picking this bird okay so they have been picking this bird and as the rules goes when the buyers come of course they are all, always looking for more bigger birds right that is why you see most of the birds here are a little more smaller because like i told you in my previous videos they will not grow the same okay uh it doesn't matter the, the type of feed you feed them, the drinkers, your medication, they are not going to grow and perform the same. You will always have smaller birds among. There is one bird which really beats my imagination. Look at this one right here. 
you can see how small it is, right? Upon all the feed and water, it has been consuming just like these ones, but it is just the same, just like this, guys. Uh, so we will always have these birds, smaller ones in our midst, and these are the ones which are left the last. Look at this. We have another one here. Look at this one. Okay, this is it, day 50, guys. Now see the one by the side here, <laughs> okay? So you can just get what I'm trying to say, right? So, these ones are left, even though the mark the buyers are still coming and still selecting, still trying to negotiate on the price. Another thing about marketing, guys, do not keep these birds. If there is a way for you to release them out, sell them out, prepare your brother, prepare your farm, prepare your pen to receive your new badge, it is way more better but you don't want to do what is going to put you at a deficit okay because at the end of the day you should be able to recover your money and make some profit out okay if i do my calculations rightly uh we are giving this bird uh at this point in time we are giving them out for i would say three thousand francs 3,000 francs in US dollars is about, I would say, uh, four point something to five dollars, okay? Which uh, isn't bad, which isn't bad, guys. Uh, there is profit, there is a, a, a huge profit made from them. If you know how to fight against mortalities, diseases, you know how to manage on your feet, you know how to take good care of them, uh, for them to grow healthily, you are going to be making so much money from them, guys. Uh, one reason, one aspect that drives a lot of farmers from this business is the aspect of marketing, which I have just revealed to you how we market our birds, guys. We started our announcement two weeks after our birds arrived at the farm. We send people in the market to create those business, those marketing links and contacts for us. Uh, the next week, they, this lady came with two lists of ledger papers, full of contacts and numbers, okay? Another thing, the way it is done is, this, we made a mistake, guys. This bet were supposed to have at least uh, finished by now, but because it was our very first experience, very first batch, I never knew that these women, I will call them women because most of the agent, most of the uh, retailers are women, okay? Now these women will prefer that you grow your bed right up to the point where you feel satisfied to sell them. Now, you don't call individually to come and buy. What you do is you keep a date, let's say at their day 50, you want the buyers to come and buy your bird. Now you must inform them as a community, okay? You must inform them as a community and keep a time and a day where, where all of them, when all of them are going to come to your farm and then jointly agree on a price and then everyone has to select his or her own size, weight and quantity. Now, we never knew this. Now, at day 41, we were already calling individual buyers. And of course, they are coming. They are all, always going for the bigger bird selecting. And then when it came a point where we had to inform or announce to the bigger community of the buyers, they, most of them, they declined that it was supposed to be done jointly. And since we never knew this, we lose a lot of buyers who could have come in and picked up this bird within two days or within three days. So we had to apologize to them that, sorry, it, it, it's really our very first batch. We never knew that that is how things are done. Uh, we are going to do it better on our next batch because we have another batch of uh, 30 day old, a uh, 29 day old. Uh, you can see the, the tarpaulin just separating the, these older ones from the smaller ones. I will show you in just a moment. We have 29 day old, I think of 1,500 birds. So that is how it happened. I just thought to bring you this update so it can help you in your own marketing strategy as well. Guys, 
Another thing you should keep in mind is the older these birds become, the more liable for mortality, okay? So you wanna do whatever you can to get these birds out as soon as you can, okay? If you can hear them very clearly, some of them are even having cough right now. Uh, this is due to the litter from the other side of the uh, pen, which we just took them from. The litter was super wet. It, it helped to influence, to affect their growth, and then left them up with uh, the cough and the, and the uh, cold, which you can hear from them right now. So these birds are here, we still have about 181 out of 1,040 something birds, which isn't bad. So within just, uh, within just five days, we have sold about uh, 800 and something birds and we keep sending them out. Uh, another batch of 1,500 is on the other side, which is day 29 now. The rule of the game is poultry farming is a, a game of numbers. If you get a good number, you are going to realize something from it. Uh, on the other side, do not just do this for money. Do it as your passion. Put your best in it to grow fresh, organic, healthy looking birds. Buyers are going to come for them, guys. Do not go in for the money. Do it as a passion grow healthy looking birds another thing which i think kind of like affected this batch why we have more smaller birds and some of them are not uh healthily strong okay they are not that strong they may look bigger but some of them are not uh really heavy when you take them up okay because those are the factors that the marketers the buyers are looking for they want to take up a bird and that bird is active and strong enough and then heavy enough then they will say that bird is a good one so most of these ones you see here they are not that strong they are weak uh they, are, they look big but they don't look heavy the reason for that it is coming from two things okay number one the breed okay the breed of the bird like we have identified the breed isn't a very good breed we are going to be changing breed we are going to be changing a company to taste another breed. Uh, secondly, feed, okay? The feed also isn't converting very well, okay? So these two factors put in place and put together, it resulted to this bird not growing very healthily as they supposed to have been at day 50, okay? But it is what it is. I don't just bring you good news. I also bring you bad news. So you learn from these things, guys. You want to switch companies. You want to uh, try different feed compositions to see which one that really convert into body weight, shape, and size. Okay, because that is what is going to, uh, in in turn, convert to money for you into your pocket and putting so much more money into your your pocket. Okay, guys. So if you like what I do on this channel so far make sure to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget be a subscribe member turn on bell notification on so you don't miss out on anything once i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified guys uh, lastly i'm going to leave you with this tip guys your hygiene and sanitation and your biosecurities do not play with that i always tell people poultry farm is not an amusement center where your family your children where your friends uh, have to visit as if they are going to take pictures, okay? So you shouldn't let strangers in, okay? Because some of the challenges we are facing right now, these birds are sick from cough, from cold. Uh, they might have gotten it from uh, external visitors and things like that, okay? But we are following them up with a very good medication, as you can see and they are just looking sounder and sounder every day but as their days go older as they go older they begin to get a lot of other complications okay uh let me see if this one is dead or something okay it isn't dead but it's not looking strong enough we had this batch we had 
a lot of birds with which are paralyzed, which are lame, uh, have legs, some no eyes, and things like that. It's just very funny that you will see a bird with no eyes, okay? But it is what it is, guys. When you are in this business, you are going to see a lot. And at the end of it, I'm just loving the entire process. I'm just loving what we are doing right here. And we keep on inspiring a lot of other youth around us. We keep on uh, providing meat to the community, which is just something that fills my heart with so much joy. So stick around this channel and wait for my video tomorrow where I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of other tips to help you as a poultry farmer to minimize your losses, to maximize your gains at the end, putting so much money and laughter into your pocket and to your family. We'll see you around soonest. Peace out.